Hey y'all, it's Sheila. Thank you for stopping by and spending some time with me. How in the world are you? Uh, talking about a couple of things today. Talking about a handbag. Um, talking about, well, we're going to be making a sugar scrub. We're going to go downstairs. Hopefully I'll be a little better at working in the kitchen this time. And announcing some winners. Yeah, I did a giveaway. Some of y'all knew it. Some of y'all didn't. Um, and we'll get on to that later on. Uh, I want to talk about a handbag uh, that I received, but before I do that, I want to show you the handbag I have been carrying. It is a, it's a coach handbag. It's leather. I do prefer leather handbags. I am not vegan. I love animals. Y'all know that, but I am not vegan, uh, and I do prefer a leather handbag, and I get a lot of my coach handbags I get at Tangler Outlet when we're down there. This is um, a small bucket. My hand and it's crossbody. I go from really big totes to small, smaller crossbodies. This handbag was basically three hundred and forty-five dollars. Uh, but Coach was having a special. Everything was seventy percent off, and then you got twenty percent off. So I was out the door in under sixty or seventy dollars for this coach leather handbag. It's a strange color. Sometimes it looks like a light mossy green and sometimes it looks gray. Uh, I certainly can carry it through the fall and winter uh, even though it's a light color because it really kind of looks gray. Uh, in a video earlier I asked y'all about um, replica handbags and many of y'all didn't have a problem with that. Uh, a couple of y'all did uh, and a company had reached out to me and I did accept a handbag from them. And somebody said something that struck a chord with me. I don't like big advertisements on my handbags, was the comment along those lines. I don't either. I don't like a handbag with a lot of print on it. I got this last week, Gucci. It's not a Gucci. It's a Gucci replica. It's packaged very nicely. It's The, the box is magnetized. And um, I've already taken it out of its dust bag and uh, taking the packing off of it. It does come with the silk dust bag. It has paperwork with it. And this is what I got. I got a small Gucci replica handbag and I got it in this topish color. I think that's just a year round color. Now I'm gonna pause for a minute, uh, take the packaging off and I'll be right back. And there we go. I had already taken it off of the tassel. It's a zipper top. I like that. Some of my totes are just open totes and I don't mind that. I just make sure the things are in bags, little bags, cosmetic purchase, pouches, that kind of thing. Uh, but I really like this and I'll unzip it. I already have some stuff in it. Y'all know I don't carry a lot. Um, it's going to fit what I need. A little bit of cash, my debit card, my insurance card, my license, two tubes of lipstick, a tube of hand cream, two sets of keys. Um, that's basically it. That's I, I don't carry a lot in a handbag. Let me just tell you, the leather on this is buttery. It is as soft as butter. I think this is a... I personally, allegedly, think this is a better leather than on my genuine coach handbag. It's very soft. The strap is adjustable. You can adjust it however you want. And um, I haven't looked online to, to look at the stitching and see if it's truly, you know, the number of stitches per inch. And that doesn't matter to me. That doesn't matter to me. Uh, what matters to me is this is a beautiful leather handbag. Uh, the quality is very good. The zipper just, it glides like butter. Uh, but I really like this handbag. I really, really like it. And I'm going to enjoy carrying it when I shop. Um, and I don't shop a lot online. I don't, I don't need to carry a purse for that, but when we're out somewhere, I like a lightweight hand, handbag. I like one that I can cross over. 
And for shopping, what I do is I wear a lot of vests in the winter. I put my purse on first and then I put my vest on over it. Just a little security measure. Be hard for somebody to grab my purse. And I carry my car key in my front pocket and my cell phone in my back pocket. I've talked about that before. Uh, if someone does grab your purse, you can still get home and you can call help. But I really, really uh, like this purse. And I'll have links below if you're interested in the Cora handbag replicas. Now, um, in a video recently, I did a, a secret giveaway. I get asked so many times, and I know it's because a lot of people um, don't understand, and I'm not trying to talk down to anyone. If they're watching from their cell phone, they don't know how to get to the show more. Hit the little triangle, and it will open up the box. Uh, and I've been asked many times, why do you never link the stuff you have on your face? 90, 95% of the time, it's down there. It won't be today. I'm not linking that today. I, uh, my makeup is haphazardly thrown on. But 90, 95, 96% of the time, it's, uh, it's linked down there. And a person just doesn't know how to get to it. And um, I always get asked about my lipstick today. I am wearing one of the CoverGirl. It's not the metallic. It's 390 Sweetheart Blush. It's a cream. It's a very comfortable lipstick. It's sort of an icy pink, but I put a darker lip liner. The, um, where is my lip liner? It's one by NYX. It's not really dark. It's uh, whipped caviar. So I like the pencils you can sharpen, and that's what I have on with it to sort of bring that iciness down a little. Um, but in a video prior, uh, down at the very bottom of the show more, uh, I said, if you if you found yourself this far, what's your favorite coffee? This is a giveaway. And uh, I had people, uh, I had somebody asking, why are they talking about coffee in your comments? You didn't say anything about coffee. Uh, I said, well, you know, they read to the bottom in the show more. Uh, I'm going to be doing e-gift cards. I'm going to be doing two. I've already picked the winners. Um, I did random comment picker, uh, and, uh, one or two popped up that didn't talk about coffee. Sorry about that. I'm not putting that footage in here. Y'all know I don't do a lot of editing. So anyway, uh, the winners, um, will be coming up later in the video. For now, let's go make some sugar scrub. Okay, y'all, let's make some sugar scrub. And my cooking of my sugar scrub is like my food cooking. I sort of wing it as I go. So we're going to start out with some pure cane sugar. This is the all-natural uh, cane sugar. And we're just going to put it in the bowl. lump there. This is an old spatula that I don't use for cooking. Um, now I have jojoba oil. This is eight ounces of jojoba oil. I, I don't know if we'll use all of it. We're going to start off with about that much. Jojoba oil is most like the body's own natural oils and this is dirty. It's very old. Uh, it's glycerin. It's Skincare glycerin. Glycerin is a humectant and helps um, with moisture. And I'm going to put about three tablespoons of that glycerin in there. You can, sometimes I use almond oil. Right now I'm out of almond oil. Sometimes I use uh, a coconut oil that stays liquid. Uh, it's hard for any coconut oil to stay liquid as cold as it's been around here. And I use essential oils for scent. My favorite is citrus or peppermint. And then I just stir it around. And it's quite obvious we're going to need some more oil. 
and each time I add oil, I add glycerin because I want that humectant in there. Here comes Miss Lily. She said, nope, I'm done with you. About a tablespoon. Sometimes I use brown sugar. Brown sugar is great as an exfoliant. And sometimes in the summer, I use uh, a coarser sugar. Now, the longer this sits, the more it will, the sugar will absorb all the oils. And it just depends on how wet you want yours. A little more jojoba. I get this glycerin at my local drugstore. And I think that's going to take it to about the consistency I like. You can make it as, you can put as much liquid in it as you want. But it will, it will incorporate a little more as it sits there. And then you just put it in whatever containers you would like to store it in. Back in the bathroom where it all started, y'all. Um, I just finished making sugar scrub right over there on the sink. I realize this isn't very flattering. Uh, it's not the best lighting, but I'm ending this video. Uh, two winners that scrolled all the way to the bottom in that video and left me a comment about coffee. Each winner will receive a $50 gift card to the store of their choice. So it's open worldwide. Um, if I, I would like for it to be an e-card that I could do online and um, we'll talk about where you want your card from when you contact me. Uh, and I'm not giving the names. They're in the show more box. <laughs> so you gotta go search it again. Go to the show more box. I need those two ladies to email me. The email address is provided. It's life with Lily B. L I F E W. I don't remember how. It might be life. W. Anyway, I'll have the email address down below, and you two ladies email me, and uh, we'll work out the arrangements on your gift card. Uh, now I'm gonna get, get out of the bathroom and get into the kitchen and straighten up and I may put up some Christmas today I'm not sure, but I hope you have a great day. I hope you make it a great day It is always a great day to have a great day Bye now